A very good morning to all of you. This is Kamal Roy, your computer teacher, and today's topic is Q Basic Editor. Today we will going to discuss in four topic. Number one, how to start Q Basic, how to exit from Basic, how to write a program in Q Basic, how to save a file in Q Basic. This is your desktop, and from which you have to double click on QBasic icon. See, there is QB64. This is QBasic icon. Now just double click on this icon. This will open QB QBasic editor. If you want to close it now, then just click on cross button like this, or you can also choose file menu and click exit to quit from this editor that's a very simple way to quit this editor to quit this from editor now once i can open it uh, uh, we will write a simple program in qbasic to write a program a student must know various kind of command like uh, at the moment we will going to write a simple program to print your name to do this uh, we will use print command see here print now within double quote you have to write your name uh, suppose that your name is Deepa close your double quote just complete it now uh, click on run option and click start option see there is output now uh, just press any key to exit from this output screen now if you like to uh, print your class also then you have to use couple of print command print class within double quote 5 In same way you can see output click on run and uh, click start option see there is your name and this is your class once again press any key to exit from this output now the final things uh, is to how to save this file we have write the program we also run our program now we will start we will save our file now to save our file first click on file option click on save option now see there is save as dialog box here is a file name option you just have to type your file name first of all delete this now type of file name like program 1 now click ok button You can see your file name is written here program one dot bas. So after this, you just exit from this file. That's the complete. And uh, I think uh, you have understand all these matters. And a student must do all these things on your computer. This will help you to understand this thing more better thank you